First into the tank is a couple with an innovation in pet products. <laughs> Hi, Sharks. Let me introduce ourselves. I'm Tara. And I'm Jason. We're the founders of PDX Pet Design. And today, we're asking for $300,000 for 15% of our company. Now, Jason and I are of the generation that grew up online and with computers, so naturally, we met online. We eventually got married, and you know what happens next. We adopted more cats. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with cat toys today, it's this. They're cute, they're colorful, but when you take them home, your cats play with them for about five minutes. These guys are basically throwaway. Imagine instead, you could walk into a pet shop and there'd be an entire aisle dedicated to the wellness of your cat with products that enhance your kitty's lifestyle and really help you improve your relationship with your cat. Well, that's what we are doing at PDX Pet Design. For our first product, we created Shrew, the intelligent cat companion. As you can see in the video, Shrew entertains your cat while you're out for the day. Now, we designed Shrew to mimic a small animal's motion, so it ignites the hunting instinct of your little tiger. It's basically going to be your cat's new BFF. For our next product, we looked at the fact that cats groom each other as a form of social bonding. There's also evidence to suggest that your cat thinks you're a big cat, not a human. So why should <laughs> you be left out of their intimate bonding ritual? Well, with Licky Brush, you don't have to be left out anymore. Licky Brush is a tongue-shaped brush you can use to finally lick your cat, just like a mama cat licks her young. No, you're not gonna stick that in your mouth, are you? Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. oh, that's oh. Oh. Kevin, Kevin, demonstrate oh. how it's done. Oh my god. Oh. You're joking. Oh, they're freaks. Oh, I'm not joking. You're joking. No, so who wants to join us on the quest to improve kitty lives around the world? There is one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody yeah. hand you, you, you oh. need to drop a mic right about now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna give each of you guys a cat and a licky brush and a shrew so you can test it out. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> I want a cat. What's the name of the cat? Chestnut. Chestnut is now oh, psychologically disturbed. <laughs> Robert, if you can take a cat. Jason, what happened, man? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you, man? <laughs> this has been a viral hit. And I bet it has. <laughs> I'll try it with the real cat. Hi, baby. So you just put it in your mouth, and you want to lick her with the grain, right? You don't want to go against the grain. <laughs> As any pet owner knows. Oh, my god. Yeah, so you just hold her nice and tight. And there you go. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, my god. I... <laughs> I hate myself so much right now. People use it and they say, this is a wonderful bonding experience with their animal. <laughs> but like, what's the difference if you were to put this in your mouth and lick the cat, or if you were just to yeah, like, brush just the cat? Yeah, I'm just brushing her she likes that. Well, then it's just a brush. <laughs> okay, guys, I want to take it seriously because you asked for $300,000 before I saw you lick a cat with well, this. Well, we don't know what their sales are. How many did you sell? To date, we have sold about $250,000 worth of shrew and about $52,000 worth of liquid brush. We have five other designs in the pipeline right now, and we think they're going to be equally viral. We know how to talk to people on the internet about cats. What did you guys do before Lickety Split? Well, I'm an electrical engineer by trade. Which makes perfect sense. Jason's created Shrew and Licky Brush himself. We have not outsourced any of the contracting, the engineering. We do everything. And I work on the business management side of it. I actually went to the University of Waterloo, Mr. Wonderful. You did? Uh, yeah. And then I went on to uh, explore a PhD in neuroscience. Are you a Canadian? Sure am. No She's targeting you. She <laughs> thinks you might be a cat. I'm going to make sure they throw you out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> did we ever ask you how much it sells for? No, you haven't. OK. The MSRP today is $119. 119 oh. It has a, a lot of, inside. Are you kidding? There's a lot it's of technology inside of here. What's the Licky Brush sell for? Pre-order is $19. MSRP is going to be $25. That's more like it. That's cool. Guys, can you just give me, for this year, combined what total sales will be in your forecast between the liquor and the egg? Uh, our projected sales for this year are $180,000. So what would make you think that you could price this business at over $2 million in valuation? We're really focused on future revenues. So, <laughs> 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 
so we can give you the money five years from now. And you can't, but I'm going to be looking for a lot more because I know we're going to double our revenue next year and the year after and the year I've after. I've never heard anybody say, I promise we're going to fail. This is so crazy. I mean, it's just... Well, you guys know as soon as this episode airs, we're going to... This, this episode's going to go viral. I want to explain you something really important. Everybody says, I want to go viral. I'm going to go viral. Mm -hmm. you said we did, you we went, did. You said you went viral. We had, we had like 20 million But views. your sales from that was $250,000 on the one and 52 on the other. For going viral, I think it should be higher. I'm out. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. I, I have to tell you, sales aren't there. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thank you, Robert. Listen, I wish you wouldn't have asked so much so soon. I mean, you only really have a little proof of concept. I don't, I don't know how you get around that number. Everybody has the same problem. You ask for too much. I'm just thinking, I go back to my office, meet my team, say I gave them 300 grand, and I stick this in my mouth, and they look at me and say, I'm getting a job somewhere else now. <laughs> Well, that's I mean, just one product, just, though. It's impossible to get back to 300 Guys, guys I'll simplify. Look, you've had fun with it. Obviously, you've owned it, so it's become more than just a business, right? It's part of your personality, looking for, for a big break. You didn't price this asking for a big break. If you guys had come in and said, you know what? Believe in us, 50 grand for 20% of the company, we all grow together. Yeah, I think we'd all be in it. Then yeah. somebody could take a flyer. Yeah. But 300K, that's too much, and for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. You know, it just reminds me of an old story. A cop, an old school Irish cop, he's walking down the block, a woman runs up to him. Oh my God, my cat's in the tree. He looked up in the tree and he said, Lady, you see any cat skeletons hanging around up in the tree? <laughs> Sooner or later, the cat's gonna come down. They'll have to work it out. We can't help you with that valuation. You're gonna have to work it out by yourself. I'm out. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, Damon. So, Mr. Wonderful, we haven't heard from you. I, I tell you, I'm worried about my, my daughter, my son would look at me saying, what happened to you, Dad? What, what, why did you do well, that? Well, we made you a lot of money. You're not worth 300 k now. It's just too much money for this. I'm out. Guys, I just want to say how luck. happy I am that you met each other. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin, so much. We yeah, wish you good you. luck. Of course, we're disappointed. Everyone wants to get a deal. But we also, we have backup plans. We have cunning POs. We are going to build this company. And so this isn't the end for us. That was crazy. Why do I do Shark Tank? Because you never know when someone's going to lick a cat. <laughs>